hello everyone welcome again to my channel thanks for the click i hope you are doing well so we are still dealing with some topics and issues related to language teaching and learning and applied linguistics so in the previous episode we talked about some thing to do with learning strategies some strategies that learners use to learn the language to discover the language but in this episode we are going to talk about other strategies but these strategies have to do with communication communication strategies this topic actually has been dealt with and talked about by several uh, researchers and several scholars like brown like uh, jack richards keisha faris and so on and so forth all of them have talked about uh, this strategies communication strategies now what do we mean by communication strategies communication strategies are those strategies that l2 learners language learners second language learners use in order to transmit his message in order to communicate appropriately and positively and these strategies most of l2 learners resort to when they face communication breakdowns when they have communication problems all right um we have a lot there are a lot of communication strategies but in this episode we are going to focus on four very essential strategies the first one that i'd like you to keep in mind is the so-called avoiding strategy in speaking or writing l2 learners might avoid might resort to avoidance strategy in which he or she avoid using some difficult words some difficult structures in order why do you think he do he does or she does that very simply to hide his maybe we can say errors or to hide his weaknesses in language learning so this is a strategy that learner might uh, resort to in order to transmit his message or to make his message clear to avoid difficult words there is another thing very important related to uh, avoiding strategy is the so-called topic avoidance and learners sometimes might avoid talking about some kinds of topics in which he or she thinks that he is incapable to talk about those topics especially when it comes to information or vocabulary or even structures so this is number one this is the first strategy that l2 learners resort to the second one and this is also very important is the so-called language switch so l2 learners second language learners might switch to his language or to another language when he faces communication break downs especially when it comes to words to vocabulary and this is something that can be related to some extent to the so-called foreignization and this is also another strategy another communication strategy that l2 learners resort to uh, for example to use a word in his mother tongue and make it sound like english right so this is what we call foreignization or language switch so in this strategy the second language learner can uh, switch to his mother tongue or to another language for looking for words that maybe he forgot or he doesn't know this is strategy number two now the third strategy and this is also very important is the so-called prefabricated patterns now second language learner sometimes might uh, resort to prefabricated sentences prefabricated questions to use when he faces communication breakdowns now this is very common for tourists for example when some tourists go to a country where they don't speak their language or the, the country where they visit for sure they will take with them some books with prefabricated questions prefabricated sentences this is something that l2 learners might resort to when they face communication breakdowns like questions for example where is this how can i get to the to a place or can you give me something etc so this these these prefabricated questions or prefabricated patterns can be useful for second language learners to use when they face uh communicate communication breakdowns 
the last the last uh, communication strategy that I'd like to share with you now is what we call appealing to authority appealing to authority and when we talk about authority here authority is someone who is uh, very knowledgeable very competent in second language learning this can be teacher this can be a classmate this can be another learner this can also be a dictionary the, the dictionary of the language the learner is learning okay so he might appeal to this authority to ask for help to ask for assistance when he or she faces communication strategy communication uh, problems or communication breakdowns this is something that we uh, you might find in literature as appealing for assistance this is also very common in in uh, in literature so these are very common uh, strategies very uh, useful strategies that learners can resort to to uh, make his message clear to transmit his message and to avoid communication problems and communication breakdowns as i said before now there are two very essential questions that you might be asked or uh, that come to mind how can you teach these strategies to learners is it uh, possible for second language teachers to teach these uh, strategies uh, implicitly or explicitly uh, how can you as a teacher know the learners communication strategies now to answer these questions is very simple as far as i'm concerned i i can say that these strategies can be taught explicitly so teacher can introduce these strategies can can uh, help learners use these strategies can create environment can create situations where learners practice and use these strategies for the second questions how can we as a teacher or how can we as teachers know the learners communication strategies is very simply by asking them questions direct questions tests can be a useful tool to understand to know your learners communication strategies see you in another episode as you can see this is a beautiful weather nature okay i hope you are enjoying your time See you in another episode. Have a good time. Bye -bye.